Well, the Permian Panthers will be returning sooner than most 6A teams in 2020. Mojo has a scrimmage against Amarillo High coming up tomorrow, and then their first game a week after that, taking on Abilene Cooper under the Thursday night lights. The mojo is back in Odessa. As Permian prepares for its season opener, head coach Jeff Elson says he's pleased with the progress he's seen. You get pads on, you get helmets on, and uh, especially with offensive linemen and defensive linemen, you get kind of got to start all over again with that contact, and it's been a while for them, um, uh, but they've handled it well. Offensively, the Panthers will undergo a change at quarterback. Harper Terry takes over for Easton Hernandez. Early last year, while Hernandez recovered from an injury, Terry took advantage of some valuable playing time. I feel like that really matured me as a quarterback and just matured me as a leader. So just being for, being able to have those starts under my belt really just helps so much. We really tell with Harper that his confidence has gone way up. Uh, you know, we had a good practice on Saturday, started to come together. You know, offensively, it often kind of takes a while to, to knock the rust off. Terry also benefits from a talented supporting cast. Junior running back Malachi Medlock was the district's newcomer of the year. He averaged nearly seven yards a carry last season. They make my job just so much easier. They, make, they allow me to be calm and cool and collected during the play. I mean, I just got so many tools around me, it makes it so much easier. On the other side of the ball, Mojo will once again present plenty of problems. The Panthers' overall athleticism should be a strength for the team. So something about this year is we have a lot of speed, and I'm really excited about that. Like everybody on our defensive side can move, so it's going to be really interesting. You know, we got a lot of uh, of young kids uh, that didn't play last year, and which I know, you know, that, that year in and year out, you can say that. Uh, but they've done. I'm really proud about how those young guys have come on. 